बेसिक प्रपोर्शनैलिटी थ्योरम और थेल्स थ्योरम नाउ दिस बेसिक प्रपोर्शनैलिटी थ्योरम लाइक द नेम सुजेस्ट हैज टू डू समथिंग विद प्रपोर्शनैलिटी ओके लुकिंग एट द केस ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल व्हिच वी हैव हियर एज ए बी सी इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट लेट्स लुक व्हाट डज दिस थ्योरम सेस दिस थ्योरम सेस इफ अ लाइन इज ड्रॉन पैरेलल टू वन साइड ऑफ द ट्राइंगल सो वी हैव ट्राइंगल ए बी सी लेट्स ड्रॉ D E, which is parallel to B C. So I draw a line over here, which is called D E, and D E is parallel to B C. This arrow actually represents that it is parallel to the other side. If a line is drawn parallel to one side of the triangle, intersecting the other two side, what does this mean? Intersecting the other two side. This means it is actually going through the other two side. Like, if I just extend this, what does this mean? If I see on line A B, the line D E passes through point D. It is intersecting the two sides and it is dividing A B into two parts, which is A D and D B, right? Similarly, if I look at AC, the line DE is dividing it into two parts, AE and EC. Right? If a line is drawn parallel to one side of the triangle, intersecting the other two sides, then it divides the two sides in same ratio. In other words, what does this mean? This means that the ratio in which it divides the line ac or in other words the ratio of ae to ec should be equal to the ratio of ad is to db right this is what the thales theorem says it says if you draw a line which is parallel to one of the sides of the triangle the other two remaining sides the way in which this line divides these two sides the area or it's actually the length not the area of these two the proportion of the area of these two has to be equal to the proportion of area of these two so can we try and prove this would you like to see how we can prove this let me do it for you so what we need to prove is that the ratio of ad is to db is equal to the ratio of ae is to ec so what i do here is i will draw one line which is perpendicular from e to ab and i call this point as f right and similarly i will also draw one more line which is from point d to ac and i will call this point as g at the same time i connect point d with point c and i connect point E with point B. Now, if I just ask you, okay, to have a look at this particular portion, what you will notice is that insofar as this triangle ADE is concerned, FE or EF is actually the height of triangle ADE. at the same time what you will also notice is that if i look at triangle dbe which is if i just pick it up okay this is something like this this is point f this is the height so even ef would become the height of triangle bde right this is what we have learned earlier in our cases right so actually what is coming out of these two things is that ef is the height of both triangle ade and triangle dbe right so if i find out the area let me use a white color only of triangle ade that will be equal to half into base what is the base of triangle ade it is ad into height which is ef similarly 
area of triangle DBE will be equal to half times base DB times height EF. Right? If I find out what is the ratio of the area of these two, it is nothing but just simply dividing these two by each other. So half gets cancelled over here, EF gets cancelled over here. What we are left with is AD upon DB. Let's call this as point 0.1 right now let me just remove this particular thing and maybe let's concentrate this time around uh, the other side of the triangle which is this here again if you notice we have triangle just to ease out I've actually got it on a different page okay again if you look at the yellow portion you have triangle a D E just like we saw in the earlier one and we have triangle D E C right the height in this case is what the height is D G which is this particular line this was a perpendicular we had drawn so again what is the area of triangle A D E it is half times base times height triangle D E C half times base what is the base triangle DEC this portion the base is EC times the height if I just find out the ratio of these two again half gets knocked over here DG gets knocked over here we have AE divided by EC what does this mean let's call this as 2 so if we equate 1 and 2 what we are left with is AE upon EC and what did we get from equation 1 we got AD by DB right in other words the ratio of AD is to DB which is this is to this is equal to the ratio of AE by EC which is what we said let's look at it again if a line is drawn parallel to one side of the triangle DE parallel to BC intersecting the other two lines at point D and E then it divides the two sides in the same ratio or the ratio of AD is to DB has to be equal to AE is to EC. I hope you had a good time understanding this. Thank you for being with us today.